Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna see how to change the background of your Mac. So let's get started. Let's just close this up for now. Here's the background and there's various ways to do this. So one of the ways would be to go on the top left-hand side corner of your screen. You're gonna see that Apple logo. Let me just go on the top left-hand side, click on it. Then from here, we're gonna see our second option where it says system preferences. Once we open up system preferences, we're gonna see all this information here. And on the top left-hand side, we're gonna see desktop and screensavers. Top left, you will see that as your second option. Click right there. I'm gonna see all our options that we have available at the moment. So for our desktop, we can go into photos, we can go into Apple, we can take a look at desktop pictures. So all these are the default ones. We can pick any one of these. We can also go into folders. Under folders, you might see pictures in there. Just go right into pictures and choose any one of these. That's an option as well. And then photos, we can go there too and take a look at a few of them. However, let's say you want a picture and you don't want to really search for it through here. Well, you don't have to. This is just one of the ways to change your desktop. There's actually a, a lot faster way to change it up if you have a specific picture in mind. So let's just close this up. And I have a picture right here. It's just a regular JPEG. And what do I need to do? Well, this could be in my documents folder. It could be anywhere, really. I, I can just right click on this picture and there's an option down here below. It's going to be the last one, set desktop picture. Let's just click there. And right now it's just gonna refresh just a little bit and it's just gonna set it up. So there we go. So it might take a few seconds to set it up and here we go, here's my puppy. You guys can see it, it's my desktop at the moment. Now, if I don't want this picture to be there, sure, we could just do that with another picture or we can always go, like I mentioned before, system preferences, from system preferences, we're gonna go on into our second option where we have all these options and I can just set one up from Apple. So I do, if I do wanna change it up to a standard Apple one, there are a few options down here below. I can just click on it and it's gonna change it right away. Now let's say I don't like this dark one right now that it's on. I can always choose this lighter one, but that depends on your preferences. So I do have this as automatic. I can just go into light mode and it's gonna change it up. So let me just show you from far away what happens if I do that. So this is dark mode and here's light mode. So usually you want light mode during the day and you want dark mode during the nighttime because it's easier on your eyes. However, it's really up to you guys. You can stay in light mode all the time or dark mode all the time or just put it automatic. So it goes into dark mode or light mode depending on what time it is or how dark your room is as well. So right now we're just gonna leave it as light that's what I personally like. And we can do that with anything here. So all of these up here, we have dynamic desktop. That's what it means. Dynamic desktops are the ones that you can choose between various modes. So this one is dark, light, and then dynamic, where it just changes throughout the day. So all these options for dynamic, down here below, you're gonna see light and dark, and if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna see desktop pictures. So we have a lot of them here, as well as more down here below. Let me just keep scrolling down so you guys can see all the ones available, and that's it. So that's all the default stuff that you get on your Mac. So you can choose any one of these to be your backgrounds. Now these are normal ones, these are not dynamic. So if you choose one of these, it's just gonna stay as is. So let me just zoom out a little bit. So this is how this one looks like. And yes, this one will stay as is. It's not gonna change or anything like that. If you want it to change over time, you can choose something like this, or you can choose something from the top, which is dynamic. It's really up to you. At this point, I'm just gonna leave it right here. But that's how you guys can go on and change your desktop. There's so many things you can do. You can even add more stuff here. So just click on the plus sign and choose more options from here. You can do that. But the easiest way, if you want a custom picture, it's just, again, you would just have to right click on it, then set picture to set up as a background and you're done. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.